So at this point in our session, we'll open up uh, the forum for any questions from the uh, attendees. Uh, as we wait for questions to roll in, I'd like to let you know, know a little bit more about KPI Partners. So KPI is a strategic consulting and systems implementation firm focused on OBIEE, Oracle BI applications, Hyperion, Endeka, and Exalytics. KPI is the recipient of the 2012 Oracle Specialized Partner of the Year Award in the area of uh, business intelligence applications. KPI also won the same award in 2011 when it was known as the Titan Award and is the only firm to ever win this award two years in a row. KPI also offers education and training through KPI University, and I encourage all of you to check out our blog at kpipartners.com slash blog. And go ahead to the next slide. And our first question is from Dan, who asks, can you please clarify again what version of EBS and the BI applications that uh, the KPI solution actually supports? Jeremiah, this is Pavan. I can take that question. Okay. Uh, the, the ETL code will support EBS versions 11, 5, 10, and release 12. From an OBI or BI app standpoint, it supports 7.9.6.3 and 7.9.6.4 on OBI E 11G version. Uh, next question is from Jim, who asks, we have defined many content sets and row orders in EBS. How do we implement this in OBI EE? The content set and the row orders are controlled by prompts and the row orders that we define in OBI. So the same functionality of content sets, row orders, all the other parameters that go into defining an FSG report can be built on the OBI side too. So all the functionalities will be present on the OBI reports also. Uh, next question is, uh, is the financial statement generator subject area sharing common dimensions with any other financial analytics subject areas, or are they all collected by the FSG ETL load? Sure, I can Mario, you so, yeah, so I can take that. So it, it does share um, all the, and, and Pam, you can chime in as well after this. Uh, it, the FSG ETL only collects metadata related to the uh, FSG definitions with an EPS, all the other dimensions and facts are shared with financial analytics um, as delivered by Oracle. Anything else to add there, Pavan? Is that good? No, I, I, I agree with what Kumar is saying. So it completely uh, is conformed with the other BIAPS uh, products or analytics. Are all the FSG reports uh, run directly from an EBS database, or is there a data warehouse component? Certainly, there is a data warehouse component, and um, as we mentioned, th this model is conformed to the Oracle BI apps data warehouse data model. So uh, the tables and uh, are the, the ETL populates additional data models that we have built, an extension to the financial analytics model that we that is delivered by Oracle. So yes, there is ETL and data warehouse component involved. And is the ETL specific to Informatica, or can someone use uh, ODI for data loading? Out of the box, we are providing uh, Informatica ETL, uh, but there's uh, uh, it, there's no uh, uh, we, we are our um, product roadmap does include uh, an out of the box ODI mapping, but that is not available right now. But it does not stop anyone from using this data model and populating it with with an ODI. Uh, how well will KPI's uh, FSG reporting for financial analytics solution fit into a customized BI apps solution? So it really depends on what kind of customizations um, have been implemented. But assuming that all the customizations that have been implemented follow the best practices suggested by uh, BI, Oracle BI, uh, Oracle, uh, for the Oracle BI apps implementation, the, the uh, model should fit in very well. So uh, Prasad asks, um, if he customizes an FSG report in the Oracle General Ledger, is it automatically imported into OBIEE, or is there another process? Pavan, you want to take that? Sure. So once the, uh, the FSG report is defined in EBA, as a, let's say as a part of the incremental load, the reports can be imported or got over to OBI side. Let's say there are some minor customizations done to the report after it's been created. The incremental load that uh, picks up the changes that were done the previous night or the previous, since the time the last ETL load was run should pick up all the changes. So uh, Wendy's organization was told to use BI Publisher with OBIEE to do their financial statements. 
Uh, do you guys have any opinions on that approach? So VI Publisher is definitely one of the options available in Oracle VI. I did not mention that as part of the three options that we discussed. VI Publisher is certainly one of the options available. Um, it comes with its own set of limitations, but it is one of the best options available to do pixel perfect reporting if you want FSG reporting in pixel perfect. But the, uh, there is no migration, for example, available with uh, of your existing FSG definitions if you use VI Publisher. Uh, James asks, does the ETL pre-calculate the content of the FSG report content, or does the ETL only load the FSG report definition? The ETL only loads the FSG report definition and maps it into a data model that uh, allows it to do the calculations from the from the GL balances tables within the apps during runtime. I think this next one's for just for clarification. Um, the question is, is S-based integration mandatory to install KPI's FSG add-on? No, actually not. Uh, the S-based integration option was, was shown as a separate option that is available without the product that we are showing. What we are showing right now does not require S-based. So uh, FSG is kept, is, is FSG kept as part of the Oracle BI applications or is it additional? to Oracle BI apps. So essentially, will Oracle support our, our KPI enhancement? So the KPI enhancement is uh, built just like any other customization that customers would normally build within their BI apps implementations. So we follow all the best practices and recommended, uh, recommended standards for implementation of customizations into Oracle BI apps. So there is no, nothing in here that would negate anybody's support with Oracle. And then Dave asks, is this product self-installed by a customer, or is there a consulting component to this also? So what we would recommend is a um, initially a three-week uh, uh, proof of concept kind of a project that allows the customer to explore what this product is about with one of our consultants, and, um, and then uh, put together a, a full, full more detailed project plan for uh, implementing this at, at their site. Carl asks, if I use general ledger segment hierarchies or summary accounts when defining FSG reports, are those taken into account during the migration? Uh, yes. All the GL segment hierarchies and the summary accounts that are defined as a part of uh, FSG reports in EBS will be implemented on the OBI side too. And Bruce asks, uh, if an FSG report definition changes after we run the migration, uh, I'm sorry, uh, if an FSG report definition changes after we run the migration ETL, uh, what will happen? This is uh, I, I believe we answered that question. Right, Pavan, go ahead. Yeah, sorry. very similar to the previous question asked, but I think it was Prasad. So if the FSG definition has changed, the change capture or the delta or the difference that has changed will be picked up in the next incremental load so that OBI reports are in sync with whatever latest changes have happened on the EBS side. Uh, do either of you have any examples of performance improvements of uh, of implementing this solution compared to traditional FSG on EBS? So, with the right aggregate design in EBS uh, in uh, Oracle BI apps, we have been able to show significant performance improvements uh, at some customer sites. We have been able to go from an EBS report that runs in about an hour to uh, less than a minute on a dashboard page in uh, in BI apps. Uh, we've got uh, quite a few questions related to pricing, uh, pricing or licensing. Um, I'll go ahead and handle that one. So, uh, what we do at KPI is with the great majority of our, our pre-built solutions is uh, we will uh, essentially offer and provide all of the our pre-built code. Um, complementary if we are engaged for the services. So you engage KPI for the services, uh, you're basically going to get you know kickstarted uh, with with a lot of pre-built code and a lot of the work that we've done on the front end, and that applies to the uh, FSG reporting solution as well. A um, couple more questions here, and then we'll wrap it up, guys. Uh, do we have to use the BI Apps Financial Analytics uh, with the KPI FSG reporting option? Um, they have a custom-built uh, general letter, general ledger balance subject area with all of the data needed for the financial statement. So can a KPI option work with custom-built subject areas in just OBI EE? 
it, it can. Uh, it will require some amount of customization to our ETL uh, because the, I'm presuming that their dimension. It, this this offering out of the box is built uh, to work with the fact tables that are in BI apps, but some fairly minor customizations in the ETL process can shift that to a custom implementation. Uh, does the uh, FSG reporting for financial analytics solution allow one to drill back to an EBS subledger, or are they restricted to the general ledger only? So the drill back functionality usually is uh, in a BI apps implementation is for within the warehouse. Although we have demonstrated at some customers the ability to um, integrate drill backs into an EBS uh, environment, uh, those uh, take custom uh, coding and custom uh, Oracle BI work. Uh, and can the FSG hierarchy be used in other reports within financial analytics other than just the FSG reports? They can be used um, it, because it's completely conformed with the financial analytics modules, but we haven't, um, we haven't seen a lot of customers do that. We, they usually use these role set definitions very specifically for building uh, financial uh, FSG reports. But as you saw, there was an entire subject area available for financial for FSG and all the dimensions and facts were available. So if you wanted to use a specific row and, and combine it with something else, you could definitely do that. All right, guys, we'll, we'll go ahead and wrap it up with this final question here. Um, do, you, uh, do you have any thoughts on what a typical high-level implementation timeline would be? So as I mentioned previously, Jeremiah, uh, what we are recommending is uh, about a three-week POC. Uh, that allows the, both the customers and the consultants to understand the customer's environment and what kind of FSG reports are, are being used at the customer site. It allows the customer to also explore uh, our product. So we would in install the, the uh, KPI FSG product, uh, load the, the metadata into through the ETL, and build a small sample of FSG reports, enable them uh, in a three-week POC, and then determine a full, more complete project plan to get this fully up and running. Great, thanks Kumar. So that concludes the Q&A portion of the event. If you want to learn more about working with FSG and Oracle's BI applications, please reach out to us through kpipartners.com and we'll have a member of our customer care team assist you with any detailed questions you may have. Uh, please join us for our next webinar in June titled Campaign to Cash Analytics, Integrating Marketing and Sales Data from the Cloud. Registration is now open through kpipartners.com and we also invite you to follow us on LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. Our Twitter handle is KPI Partners or at KPI Partners. So thank you to everyone for joining us on today's webinar, and thank you to Pavan and Kumar for presenting. Take care, everyone. Thanks again.